everybody, it's Celine and Titch from IamHandmade.com and we're cutting soaps but we're cutting them in a new place in the kitchen. The life is actually here. really cool over here. Is it? Yeah. This is normally where I make soap but this is where I'm cutting it because somebody else is using the other worktop. Somebody hello, else is Malky. Malky is using it. Say hello Malky. Hello Malky. Okay, so tonight we're cutting uh, maple honey oat. Maple honey oats, I think is I called it. Um, and you can see it's turned very dark brown, and that's I'm because looking forward to the inside of this. there's a lot of vanilla in this fragrance, so it smells like really warm and oaty and just nummy, that sort of real sort of homely sort of smell. But um, if anybody's a, a regular video watcher, they'll know that vanilla turns soap rather dark brown, or if they're sober. Not just a soap video after. True. 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 So I have to... So this has been sat out for too long. And I should have cut this probably like a week ago. But hey ho. Now Malky's on the other worktop and the washing machine is also going. So it's a busy kitchen tonight. What's Malky doing on the other worktop? Tichy? He is constructing a tiny village. Now look. Oh wow. I wish it could stay like that. Oh no, it's funky. That looks so cool. So this is what this is the colour the soap was when it was poured. Actually it wasn't even that, it was a, not even quite that, a yellowy colour. Um, and I would love if it could have the outside like the real dark brown in this, but it'll all go brown over time. It's so lovely. Mouthy look. Learning. Okay, he, can't, <laughs> he hasn't got his glasses on so he can't see. But now we're saying he's he's he does tiny buildings. He's constructing a tiny house and a tiny pub and everything tiny that goes inside it. And when we say tiny we're talking about one forty eighth of an inch, is it? Or no, one yeah. one forty so it's like you know, you can bear forty eight what? Forty-eight feet to one. No, no one no. foot to forty-eight. No, <laughs> I don't understand that. It's a forty-eight scale, which is very cool, though. Which it's is very, very cool. cool and very tiny. And in this little village, there will be a shop. And I'll say no more about it. But we'll we'll, we'll, we'll video be the shop soon. Well, I don't well. know how soon. <laughs> <laughs> he's still building a house, but anyway. That's Marcus's hobby, as soaping is mine, and he thoroughly enjoys it. And he comes in and he works on the worktop in the kitchen at night time to do it. But it also means that it's the same worktop that I work on. So now we have to share. <laughs> so that's why I excuse all the bottle oil spills. Oil spills. Oil spills. The bottles of oil. Where's the scusi? Hello. I like to clean the wires down. Now, if you see, if you want to get a close up on those soaps cut there, you'll see on the cut edge um, that there's uh, put a load of ground oatmeal in this. Sorry for the washing machine as well. Um, so the oatmeal is going to be slightly scrubby in the soap. Exfoliating. Exfoliating, darling. Um, but in, in, in not too a scrubby way, not too harsh or anything. Yeah, it's just a lovely feel. Plus, it has loads of goodies, skin goodies, and that. So it's going to be beautiful. What is it going to be? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I love it. It's like it's like a piece of chocolate and caramel or something. It is. What it looks, looks like. It is a shame I can't say that well. Salted caramel covered in dark chocolate. <gasps> oh. Oh. Matthew just did his best Homer Simpson impression over there. So we're going to cut two lots of soap tonight. <coughs> What's the other one called? The other one is called Very Good Question. The other one is called I Can't Remember. That's a very funny name. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, I totally have a complete block. The, the honeysuckle and jasmine. That's it. It's 
testing it. Well, very good. Thank God one of us is paying attention anyway. I really love that soap. I really wish that would stay. But I do like it. It's like really, it's like dark chocolate. Could you do a soap like that? If you like coated the edges of the thing or... Yeah, it would be a pain the bum, bum mm -hmm. hole to do. So, um, this may make slightly brown bubbles. Um, <coughs> Malky, don't laugh uh, when you wash it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, and again, it's just the natural vanilla in it. Um, you put vanilla in cold processed soap, it's going to turn brown. Simple as that. Just will happen like that, and really nothing you can do about it. And I actually love it's like dark chocolate color. It is. Some of the colours you get with, depending on the rate of uh, vanilla used, used, it's like a bit insipid, but that's really like full on dark chocolate. Anyway, so that's maple honey oats. Smells divine, is going to be incredible for your skin, full of good stuff. It's um, got Irish ground oatmeal and it's also got Irish honey in it. So it's going to be super good for your skin. This will be cured by... I think it's 21st, 28th of February or something? Yeah, something. No, March. Oh yeah, March yeah, I February. think it's um I think it could be 17th of February, uh, 17th of March. Actually which is Paddy's Day, which is kinda of cool. Typical for the Irish hun for the Irish honey and the Irish oats you know, for Paddy's Day, that'd be very good. Not Saint Patty's Day. No, no, no. No, no. Saint Paddy's Day or St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Okay, so we'll um, see you soon. We'll cut, go and cut the next uh, batch and um, hope you like. In the meantime, we should say bye. -a. bye -a.